Bishop Hillier, God give you the ministerium of the Cathedral International of Vices and Ordained Ministers. Good evening. I'm Minister Margaret Chapman Martin Robinson and Bishop. I'm to you, Bishop Shear. God bless you, glad to have you tonight. And to you, Bishop Hillier, our father of the ministry, our spiritual father. To our first lady, Pastor Phyllis. And to all the bishop, pulpit associations, we would say, the elders, the saints of God, our bishop. So, bishop, you know, if you look up here, we have men and women. You are a visionary, but you're also practical. We have different age groups, but your age and those behind us, you know the importance of keeping the ministry flowing, the importance of looking into the future. And so, with that said, you were like to ordain the women before it was popular, bishop. I always, we want to always give you that credit. You encourage us to go to seminary, to Bible school. You have encouraged us to be the best we can. I think about a scripture I'll be amiss if I did not give a word. Ezekiel 37 says, Son of man, can these dry bones live? It said, Hear, Lord. He said, Speak to the bones. Son of man, can these dry bones live? Hear, Lord, you know, prophesy to the bones. Bishop, many of us came from already established churches. We were hurt, we were dead in our spirit, we were dry. We Yeah. I don't think he's 65, I think he's 67, but we missed it. 
I've been going here since I was 13. I've been a member since I was 13. And he was like 56, so I've been here since I was 13. So I think he's 65. I think because it was the thing, we had this planned out properly. I'm like, we planned it for like 2018, 2019. <laughs> Pastor Smallwood has done to say a few things, but I just want to say 65 looks good on you. Okay. Thank God for the Lord. You're very well, sir. I want to give God praise for the visionary Bishop Donald Hilliard Jr. Yeah. Yes. But we missed that time. We were probably playing this like 2015 after he turned 60. After he turned 60, he was, we probably playing this stuff. To God be the glory. I think he's 67. Now, most of the ministries have had an opportunity to sow into Bishop's life as a ministry. And thank God that you will now have the opportunity. So into our bishop's life. Amen. Aren't you glad about it? Hallelujah. I can't thank you enough for all that you've done. Praise God. You've not only spoken into my lives, but you've spoken into the lives of my children. Uh, you've spoken into the lives of my uh, family abroad. I want to thank God for all that you continually do. Not only for me, but for all the families represented here today. You've been a blessing. Amen. And again, ditto. You told me to buy my house. He says, I know she would tell the truth, because that was exactly what he probably said it to you too. He says, stop that rent. Go buy your piece of house. I don't care what kind of house you get, get you some. Stop renting. And I went out and I said that on feet. And that's what that's what a visionary does. He casts vision and it's up to you to step out on something, all right? God, sometimes you got to step out on nothing. I put my corners together. I put my grandfather and say, you got to give me some money so I can go buy this house. This man of God told me I can have a house. And I didn't have a I went borrow, 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 and me a house. And guess what, Bishop? Stay there a couple of years, and what do you do? He ain't going to give you. You need a bigger house. <laughs> I want to thank God for you, because now I'm on my fourth house. And I'm not bragging. I'm going to talk to you, saying thank you, sir, for the vision that you cast into me, and you've given me, uh, uh, we have not a spirit of fear, amen? We have a triumphant spirit, a victorious spirit. When you start walking with God, you can't be scared to get out there and do something for yourself and for your family. Not only you, but your, the Bible says your children and your children's children. And I want to thank God, my little grandsons and my and that. They all gonna be blessed because of the word that came out of his mouth, and they're gonna be saved. Oh, y'all gonna help me here. They're gonna be saved, they're gonna be sanctified, they're gonna love the Lord, I'm gonna teach them about the scriptures, and come on. I don't wanna go on and on, but you've been a blessing to my life. Amen. And so 
so much so that I believe the report of the Lord. I believe the healing is in your mouth. I've seen it. I've seen people get pregnant. Oh, we know that. He just looked, I told him, no, stop looking at my wife. Because every time you look over there and say something, somebody get pregnant. Many of the uh, people that had their womb shut up, you said something in the womb, open, and they were pregnant and had healthy babies. Oh, y'all won't help me here, but that's amazing when you can say something and prophesy things, and then they come to pass. I want to thank you, and I want you to have, you're 65, you got at least another 35 in your bishop. I know that, right? Yes. Hallelujah. You're going to live and not die. Yes. Amen. We need you here. Now, not, not at 85. <laughs> You can go down to Florida at that nice house or wherever you're going, and we're going to treat you real good. But for right now, I'm waiting to hear what else comes out of your mouth. I want to thank God for the opportunity to serve under Him, and I want to thank God for you that are now getting ready to sow into His life. Amen. He's done so much for you and me and the church. Amen. So let's all try. He's 65 years old. So I would like for everybody to stand with me and pledge at least a $65 seed into the man of God. Please don't start writing your checks down. Please, somebody get up and say, I'm with you, small boy. I'm with you, small boy. Can anybody say, I'm with you? I'm with you. And some of, some of us, you know, $65 is not a challenge. You might need to get $665. Amen? I, you know, Money is just a, 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 a something you use. Amen. I want to bless my bishop tonight with some money. Amen. Little ice cream that he always says. Give him some ice cream. Those of you that are standing with a sixty-five dollar, we're going to have a basket right here in the middle. We're going to come down, and the rest of us are going to do the very best we can and bless our bishop tonight. So, Father, in the name of Jesus. And those online, I don't know if you can hear me now, but you can bless the bishop.